It looks like Square Enix has given us more Avengers information, and that's regarding co-op. In the last video, I asked about how the gameplay mechanics were going to work, if they were going to implement like a co-op kind of thing into their games, and it looks like we're going to be getting that. So I'll have more information on the topic right after the intro. Hey guys, welcome back to New Suit Astonish, where we discuss comics, movies, games, and more. Here to talk to you about the new Square Enix of Marvel's Avengers game that's coming out soon. We're going to be getting the big reveal next month. It's been confirmed already. So, we've been delivered more information regarding the game mechanics, specifically co-op, for the upcoming Marvel's Avengers game. And bringing you this article from Superhero Hype, it says, E3 2019 is coming in less than two weeks, and Square Enix has a potential champion with Marvel's Avengers. Yesterday, Square Enix confirmed it would bring its new superhero game to the event, with a gameplay reveal coming on June 10th. Now, more details about the game have emerged via comicbook.com. A description briefly listed on the E3 Coliseum page revealed that Marvel's Avengers will be featured on the show's official stage. This is the defining Avengers game experience, reads the description, an epic action adventure that combines cinematic storytelling with continuous single player and cooperative gameplay, or co-op for short. According to the listing, the game's features allow players to form a team up to four heroes, each of whom can utilize their abilities. Sometimes the heroes can even combine their powers. There will be hero customization, possibly with new outfits and additional items. It also mentions an ever-expanding world, which suggests that new areas could open up as players progress. The new Avengers game also sounds similar in nature to Marvel Ultimate Alliance titles. In that series, players could choose up to four characters to fight off enemy forces. In Ultimate Alliance 2, they can even combine abilities to create a superhero technique. Additionally, that franchise will continue this July with Marvel Ultimate Alliance 3 The Black Order for Nintendo Switch. We'll learn more about Square Enix's Marvel Avengers game when E3 arrives on June 11th. What are you expecting from the superhero adventure? You let me know, guys, in the comment section below. So there it is, guys, bringing you that article from Superhero Hype. I'll leave a link in the description to that article where it was sourced, and you can, guys can go ahead and read it for yourself. Are you excited for the upcoming Marvel's Avengers game? It's going to have co-op, and of course, more importantly, because I'm a huge fan of single-player games, it's going to have, obviously, a single-player campaign. So multiplayer isn't really required or necessary to play this game or beat it whatsoever. And... Like the Marvel Ultimate Alliance video games, it's going to be played in similarity to those games. And that's pretty cool. I've actually played only one of them, like a few times, but I've never actually beaten them. So I never really got into Marvel Ultimate Alliance in general. But I hear that they were pretty fun to play. And all the Marvel characters that you know and love appear in this game at least once or twice, or multiple times, of course, the main superheroes, obviously. But... Marvel Ultimate Alliance 3, is com the Black Order, is coming for the Nintendo Switch, and that's pretty exciting. It's going to be exclusive for the Nintendo Switch. So, odd, but pretty exciting at the same time. I wonder how that's going to turn out. I'm definitely going to go ahead and buy it. I never played the first one. I played a little bit of the second one with a friend of mine. But other than that, never really got into those games, so I missed out definitely. But you let me know your thoughts, guys. What are you mostly excited about from Marvel's Avengers, from Square Enix, and what are you expecting? And are you excited about the co-op campaign? Just talking about this gets us pumped up. And I won't be able to do the live stream for June 10th for E3, um, but I will be doing a video talking about all the details that get released on June 10th later on that afternoon. So I'll be doing a video like this. And also you can catch me again a reminder for you guys, you can catch me doing a live stream for Tuesday, June 11th for E3. I will be live streaming that on my other channel, Wooden Shield. And you guys can go ahead and catch me and join me for E3. We can have a conversation while we enjoy the show. Hopefully it's not a dry show. Hopefully there's a lot of things to showcase to make up for the absence of Sony and Nintendo. I believe they're going to be absent from E3. Because I think E3 is just not doing so well anymore. It's kind of like dying out. 
And that really sucks because I always get excited around this time of year. June is like one of my favorite months of the year because of things like this. I like to go on vacation on June, of course, and I get pumped up for E3 because it is a busy month for the Electronics Entertainment Expo. And we're all excited as fans and gamers alike. So you guys, comment down below. What are you expecting, of course? Please be sure to like, comment, subscribe, and click on bell notifications so you all don't miss anything. And as always, I will see you all in the next comic panel.